Project Mercury was the first human space flight program of the United States. From this, it created the Space Agency, which lasted from 1959 to 1963. The first mission was MR-3 on May 5, 1961, which used the vehicle Redstone. The orbit was suborbital, which means that it was a space flight in which a spacecraft reaches space, but it but its trajectory intersects atmosphere of of the gravitating body. The MR6 was suborbital too. The next four missions were successful. The capsules were successfully launched. Before launching, Mercury tested equipment and methods to allow men to orbit and re-enter the Earth's atmosphere safely. The guidelines for this was one, all technology should be in order, two, stick with the simplest approach, three, a launch car will be used, and four, progressive and logical test program will be conducted. The men also had to meet requirements, excellent health, a college degree in some type of engineering, 150 hours of high performance aircraft time. Each of the seven men immediately received their own specialized tasks consisted consisted of individual engineering assignments and each astronaut would become an expert and the tasks were assigned to the level of knowledge. Each had to have experience and experience in that particular field. The astronauts were John Glenn, Gus Grissom, Alan Shepard, Gordon Cooper, Ham, a pet monkey, Scott Carpenter, and Willie Schina. Each had an individual mission. Scott Carpenter specialized in communication equipment and procedures. Gordon Cooper specialized in the Redstone booster countdown and flight procedures. John Glenn specialized in the cockpit layout or configuration. Gus Grissom specialized in the reaction control system, hand controller. Walter Shkira specialized in the environment control systems. Alan Shepard specialized in the recovery system. Deke Slayton specialized in the city's booter and escape system, including configuration. The ultimate mission was to put a man in space, orbit around Earth, and recover him safely. How Freedom 7 on Project Mercury worked, May 5, 1961, is how all missions were conducted. The mission was supposed to last for 15 minutes and simply typically had numerous delays on the countdown. The shepherd was on the pad for hours. When he left, the shuttle would reach an altitude of 116 miles and land a couple hundred miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral, where they recovered from an aircraft carrier. The shepherd reached a peak of velocity at an average of 5,000 miles per hour. The flight normally lasted 15 minutes.